Alrighty guys, welcome back to the Roddy channel. Today we are going to be going over what you guys have requested from the last video. I asked if you guys wanted to see more of the raw food, food prep and you guys said yes. So today we're going to be running to the store. We're going to be picking up what we need to meal prep for these guys. So let's go ahead and go shopping. I'll show you guys a full breakdown. What does it cost? How do you prep it? How do you prepare it? And I mean that would kind of be like the, the prep you know what, let's just go to town and get the stuff that we need and we'll be right back. Look at that smile. So let's just go ahead and discuss why do we raw feed, okay? Now, from my experience, you will get more energy out of your dog if you're raw feeding. You will get higher energy levels, you'll get better health, you'll get a longer lasting animal, you get meats and proteins, not processed food that is to them all the time. So how my dogs eat is they get kibble in the morning, they get raw food at night. Now the reason why I do this, and you'll hear some people say that you shouldn't mix kibble and raw food together, whatever. The, the reason why is because kibble takes longer to digest than the raw meat does. So I feed them kibble in the morning, and they're able to eat that, and then they go through and exercise through the day, and they're able to run, they're able to get their exercise, the backyard is open to them. Now, in the day, or at nighttime, they get the raw food diet because typically we're getting ready for bed, and they're gonna lay there, and I don't want them to get bloated. I want them to have an easier food to digest, so that's why my dogs get the raw food at night. So, why do we feed our, our dogs raw food diet? One, it gives them a better, healthier, fuller looking coat, okay? It gives them a shiny coat. There's proteins, there's crude fats, there's oils and these types of meats and organs that you don't get from just your typical processed raw kibble or dry kibble food. So, uh, coat is one. Health and energy is another one. My dogs are so energetic so energetic. Another reason for the uh, raw food diet is I can balance it out more. It's not the same thing every single day, which typically would be more balanced, right? If you did the same thing every day, but no, like my dogs don't want to eat the same thing every single day, just like we don't want to eat the same thing every single day. I get people tell me all the time, like, oh, I can't get my dog interested in my kibble. Maybe he doesn't like it. Like, so we made it to our local supermarket here. I'll go ahead and show you guys what it looks like while we buy the dog's food, and then I'll go ahead and talk about the pros and cons of raw feeding when we get back to the house. chicken breast, well technically four packages of chicken breast. Normally I don't do these smaller kinds, but I was hoping to save the trip. So I'll get this bigger package. These are $1.98 a pound. This is chicken thighs right here, boneless, skinless. So normally we'll do some, uh, or I guess not normally, we change it up and we really tend to do a whole bunch of different things. So that's one thing, you're gonna have to do a lot of research if you're looking into a raw food diet. You don't wanna leave it the same. You wanna add a couple different veggies, a couple different fruits, you wanna do different styles of meats. So another meat that we like to use is this ground turkey that comes pre-packaged, it comes with two packages. This right here is five pounds. This one is a little bit more expensive. This is $2.78 a pound, so this ends up turning out to be like $14, $15 for this package. This right here, we have chicken liver that comes in packages like you guys may have seen in the grocery cart in those little tubs. 
I went ahead and got two of those separated out. You always want to be doing at least 5% of your meal as liver. You can do up to 10% as organs. But uh, total cost for this is going to be about $93 for all this food. And this is going to last us about 21 days for our dog. So not quite a month. We do spend roughly $120-ish a month, $130 right around that range. Um, for the raw food diet for three dogs. So it's not that excessive if you're doing this for one dog or a smaller dog, but specifically on this channel, we're talking about Rottweilers. So we're gonna go ahead and get some of this stuff prepped, cut up, and I'll show you guys how we prep it, set it aside, and then what our meal courses look like. Alrighty guys, so this is what our finished product is gonna look like that goes in the freezer. This is for all three dogs, so then when I pull this out, I'll let it thaw out. I'll pull out two pieces of chicken, uh, their organs, their vegetables, and then I'll separate them into their bowls just like you'll see over here. So this is what our finished product will look like. This is going to be one piece of broccoli for each dog, one carrot for each dog, and then we'll split the meat up for the dogs. That needs some additives in there. So we've got here sweet potatoes, we've got bananas that will go in there. Bananas are high in potassium. We've got our organs right here. We've got turkey that goes right here, or that's right here. We've got chicken thighs that we still need to cut open. I did go ahead and cut all the breasts already, and then Sam helped us cut these. So then we've got our baby carrots. We didn't get the bigger carrots this time, so we don't have to worry about cutting those. So this is uh, how it's gonna go. So we'll go ahead and drop these in here. So you wanna make sure that if you're doing a raw food diet, that you're using multiple different sources of protein. So you don't wanna just do chicken, you don't wanna just do beef, you don't wanna just do duck, etc., etc., etc. You wanna make sure that you're mixing it up really well for these guys, adding in a couple different additives to each bag, so that way they're not eating the same thing all the time, they're getting their different forms of calcium, protein, uh, phosphorus, you're making sure you're getting, you know, just pretty much everything that you guys would need. Some days you need a little bit more than you need other stuff. So we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna throw some banana ones in here. We'll go ahead and throw one carrot in each, in each portion there and then we'll be done. This is one meal right here. Seal that up, set that aside. Oh, I forgot the organs. Whoops. Psych. Go ahead and throw some of these in there. You wanna make sure that you're not overfeeding the organs because then it can get unhealthy for them. So you wanna make sure that you're portioning them out properly. Just a couple key points to remember. Why we raw feed is because energy levels are higher, health is way better. What is important is that you get veggies, meat, calcium, protein, all that stuff. So when these come out, um, you can add in stuff as well. This is just like the main ingredients. This doesn't have to be the full course meal. You can change this up. You can throw in a little bit of rice. You can throw in an egg. You can throw in some oats. You can throw in some apples. The Rottweilers love the apples. So. Just again, remember that you don't want to be doing the same exact meal every time. You want to make sure that you're not depriving your animal of any vitamins, any nutrients, any, any calcium, any meat, any protein source that they need. So make sure to be keep switching this up if you are going to do the raw food diet. And like I said, don't stick to one solid diet or one solid meal. 
Um, that kind of wraps it up for today's video. There's not too much behind the food prep. It's just really time consuming, but it saves us a lot of time at the end of the month. So, like I said, this is for about three weeks. We did end up not using about six to eight pounds of chicken breast, which we just threw in the freezer and we'll use next time. But uh, this is what it looks like after we put all the food into the bowl. So these did just get a couple extra pieces of broccoli as, uh, as this is just kind of the leftovers. So there is a little bit of turkey, a little bit of chicken, a little bit of chicken liver, um, some carrots, some sweet or uh, sweet potatoes in there, some broccoli, and then we are gonna throw in, we like to throw in these uh, turmeric pills and just make sure that the dogs are getting the, those extra vitamins and stuff that they need. So we put one of those in a day, as well as we do our salmon oil in the morning. Um, I do need to get myself another bottle of salmon oil. Uh, I left it on the ground and the dogs kind of like ripped the whole top off and spilled the salmon oil everywhere. And the room stinks like an Alaskan salmon. It's disgusting. So I need to go ahead and get myself another squirt bottle on the way. I will get one of those ordered tonight. But uh, for right now, this is what we're gonna feed the dogs and I can already hear them. It is about an hour later than our normal feeding time. So they understand that too and you can hear them kind of getting upset over there. So I'm gonna go ahead and set these down on the ground. I will bring them in and then let them eat. Okay, good, good, stay. All right, come on. Alrighty guys, thank you for clicking on another video today brought to you by me, Colin, here on the Roddy channel. If you enjoyed today's video, don't forget to smash that like button. Don't forget to subscribe to the channel and turn on those notifications because we're gonna be bringing more content to you guys for a long time coming. So you're not gonna wanna miss out on anything me and this little family has to offer. We'll see you on the next one. Peace out.